my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do here we are doing the mid of the month love readings this is going to be for all the zodiac signs and of course we're going to begin here with pisces we are still in pisces season for those of you guys that are pisces happy return of the sun wishing you guys all the very best let's get in your reading let's see what's going on with you guys in love and romance all right, spirit guides, ancestors, ascendant masters, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for all of the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please give us three cards to represent new love, three cards to represent old flame. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any of the services that we provide, whether it be spell work, whether it be... Um, cleansings or anything like that you can click the description box below you'll be able to find our link on there if you guys are interested in any of our journals or the books you can find all of that there as well all right my lovelies let's begin pisces let's see what's going on pisces having major transformations right we have um we have neptune in your sign as well as saturn in your sign a lot of lot of transformations for Pisces. Here we go. Three cards, new love. Three cards, old flame. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see. All right. All right, Pisces, we're starting off here with the page of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the ten of swords. All right, Pisces, the page of pentacles is indicating to me in regards to how they see you, the person you may be dealing with is perhaps a bit considered an old soul or someone that is much more financially stable um, because they are seeing you a little bit more as an immature type of energy. However, they do see the potential there. Now, right at the center in regards to how they feel about you, the nine of cups does indicate to me that they are definitely feeling you they're definitely feeling um that connection um and i feel that they are wanting to continue progressing this connection we do have the ten of swords so i feel like some of you guys may be dealing with a person that perhaps recently ended some type of connection or some type of relationship um or that they may actually recently decided that you are a better suited person for them and they are closing the door on um, any other person that they were giving their time to or their attention to. In regards to their future actions, I feel like with this Ten of Swords, they're definitely coming to some type of ending cycle. So I feel like they're going to be much more present or you're going to feel that they're more present, that they are actually putting effort moving forward. And again, I feel like for a lot of them, it's because they've ended a cycle or they've decided to close that door on, they could have been dealing with an ex-partner or someone from the past, but I feel like this person is going through a transition, a major transition, and in this transition, they're making the decision of walking away from anything that is not working for them no longer. Um, so I definitely do see potential here, Pisces, for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that are single and aren't currently not dealing with anyone, um, I do see the potential of connecting or meeting someone in this month of March. Uh, we also, now that I remember, we also have Venus in your sign. Um, so what does this mean? This means that, uh, you know, the opportunity for love is definitely out there for you. So really put yourself out there, Pisces. There are certain things that you need to move around or that you need to work on in regards to changes, okay? Because they are showing me that there is like an ending cycle for you as well. So my advice is if you're feeling a little bit more energized, if you're feeling a little bit more social, put yourself out there because this is the perfect time to actually embrace these new beginnings, Pisces. Now, when we're talking about old partner, we have the sun card here. We have the Page of Cups, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I definitely do feel like the person from your past, or maybe you are currently still dealing with the person from the past, in regards to how they feel, they definitely do still have feelings for you. There is still a connection there. Um, and the reason why they feel this way is because, again, I feel like you may still be dealing with them for some of you. 
Um, for others of you, they, they're still aware that there is this connection, this link that is still there. Um, in their future actions, the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like they're going to completely change a perspective in regards to this connection. And I do actually see them moving forward, wanting or desiring to uh, have the opportunity to either reconnect or rebuild this connection. Um, for those of you guys that were dealing with a person that was of a higher vibration, meaning someone that was mature, someone that um, perhaps life kind of separated you guys because the Ten of Pentacles could indicate a person that could have potentially put their career or their finances um, as a priority. They were trying to feel uh, some type of financial stability before getting into any type of commitment. So I do feel that this person is coming back around because it's almost like what I'm hearing is I'm back in the game and I am focused. So again, I feel like for them, maybe love or romance wasn't necessarily a priority. And I do see them getting into this energy of feeling very secure and getting to the point of understanding that they are ready for some type of commitment here. So awesome reading for you Pisces. Let's see what your spirit's message is here for the month or the middle of March 2024. What is the final message here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the middle of March 2024? Okay, here we go. And the card that we have is power. Uh, yeah, this is definitely, I feel a lot, like I said, a lot of you Pisces are definitely going through a major transition, major transformation where you're going to be feeling much more empowered. You're going to feel um, like your life is kind of shifting. The advice I can give you guys is if you feel like a little bit or like things are getting a little bit out of whack or a little bit out of sync, fully embrace it. Don't fear it. Um, don't get anxious about it. Try the best you can to ground yourself because I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely going to be going through a lot of transitions, a lot of changes. But the positive in this is that it's going to uh, kind of universe is kind of going to force you um, to change certain things in order to bring to you the stability that you've been wanting, that you've been working hard towards Pisces or that you've been desiring, whether it's on an emotional or on a financial career wise, family wise, whatever, whatever it is or whatever is taking priority in your life. But you're definitely becoming much more empowered here, uh, Pisces. Beautiful energy here. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Aries out there. Aries, you're getting ready to enter a new shift, a new, um, going towards a new, higher version of yourself, Aries. We're getting ready to move into the North Node for you and Aries. So there's major momentum that is going to be picking up for you guys. That is all to do with the universe pushing you towards what you're destined for, Aries. Really rise up to the challenges, whatever it is that's going on in your life. Now it's the time to do so. All right, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Aries. All right, we're starting off here with the King of Cups. Could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Queen of Wands could be another Aries like yourself a Leo or a Sagittarius. And we have the tower card here. Wow. Okay. So in regards to how they see you, the person that you're currently dealing with, King of Cups does indicate to me that they are emotionally open. Um, they are definitely excited about the progress or deepening the progress and the connection in this relationship. Queen of Wands in regards to how they feel. I feel like there is a lot of physical attraction. It's going to be very important um, for you, Aries, to really try the best you can to really connect, um, to make sure that you guys are connecting on a mental, not just physical connection with the tower card here in regards to future actions. I feel like this co uh, connection is definitely going to move very quickly for you guys. Okay. Again, I was talking about the North Node. What's going to happen is those of you guys that are completely single, 
the person that you're meant to be with is probably going to be entering your life and it's going to feel almost like a whirlwind romance. It's going to feel like it's moving very quickly, like the connection, the moment you guys meet, the moment you guys lock eyes, the connection is going to be very palpable. Now, does it have the promise for something long term? Absolutely, because like I said, we're getting ready to go into the North Node in your sign. So this is destined connections that are coming in for a lot of you Aries. Um, again, like I said, it is going to be very important to play out and to try to balance out the power, the power, uh, power dynamics in this connection. Um, the reason why I say that is uh, it's coming up almost as if this person is extremely emotional and I feel like you are extremely passionate and those two things <laughs> if not balanced could be a bit chaotic again that's the reason why they're telling me a whirlwind romance right it's hot and heavy does it have the potential for something long long term absolutely but it's gonna feel like it caught you off guard you were definitely not expecting it for some of you guys you can even start some type of casual connection that turns into a long-term connection um, but again, like I said, trying the best you can to balance out each other's energies is going to be very important in this connection, Aries. All right, moving on here. Let's see, in regards to your old love, we have the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. So I do see them, I do see them feeling like they were, um, Obviously, perhaps not as straightforward. Perhaps they deceived you. For some of you guys, uh, you could have put an ending to the situation because there was a third party situation that unfolded in the connection. However, I feel like this person is really stubborn and it's I, I don't see them like taking any type of self-responsibility. I feel like if anything, they're making up reasons and excuses of why it didn't work out and kind of putting that on your plate, Aries. So my advice is if you were hoping to reconnect or you were hoping to rekindle this connection, what they're telling you is it's time to move on. It's time to learn to put yourself first and to not allow people that have already stabbed you in the back to like, don't go back and handing them the knife because they will do it again. Um, I feel that this is a person that is very stubborn and they're not really wanting any type of spiritual growth. I feel like this is a person that could potentially be a bit narcissistic. So again, like I said, I would advise you to just keep it pushing uh not necessarily very good energy right there and you've outgrown this aries remember you've outgrown that type of connection all right let's see what your spirit's message is here for aries sun moon rising venus for the remainder of march 2024 aries sun moon rising venus all right here we go aries and your card is healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So for some of you guys, again, like I said, there is a, a feeling of a lot of transitions are going to be happening for you guys. Um, and I feel like there there's going to be certain situations that come up that could potentially have a lot of need for healing. They're speaking to me about shadow work. So for some of you guys, it's almost like there's going to be certain type of triggers that come up for you guys in the remainder of the month where you're going to be able to look back and perhaps realize that there were certain type of healing that needs to happen in regards to what you think um, or what you experienced in early childhood that perhaps you're still kind of letting that rule you or overshadow who you really are it's almost as if using defense mechanisms and really it's pushing people away instead of allowing yourself to get or allow people to get closer to you so there is healing that's happening here again it's coming from childhood trauma what they're telling me is when those issues start to come up really don't try to suppress it don't try to ignore it Really tap into that Aries because it's going to help you elevate and go to the other or take it to the next level uh, in regards to how you connect with people, how you relate with people, romantically connect with people as well. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the remainder of March 2024 in regards to love and romance. Give me two, uh, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
If you guys are interested in any personal readings, go ahead and click the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Let's see what's going on with Taurus and Moon Rising Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Okay, here we go, Taurus. We're starting off here with the full card. We have the Emperor and wow. Ooh la la, Taurus. All right, so the full card in regards to how they're seeing you, they're definitely excited about this connection. They're looking forward to the deepening of this connection. How they feel with the Emperor card, they know that it's you that they want, Taurus, and they're going to be very direct. I feel like this you're dealing with the person that is not about the bullshit. They are not about the games. They know the moment they put eyes on you, I said hands on you, <laughs> not hands. The moment they lay eyes on you, it's like they're going to know that you're it, that you're what they want. And they're definitely going to move forward in action, proving to you that they are worthy Taurus. Now, in regards to their future actions, the Empress, this is telling me that, again, you have the Emperor and the Empress here, which is the yin and the yang. What is this indicating to me? That this connection is going to be splendid for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are not dealing with anyone. There is a person that is coming in, and like I said, this is a very, very um, straight-to-the-point type of energy. They know what they want, and they go for it. Um, all you really have to do is sit back and look pretty Taurus because they are going to let you know that they want you and they're going to be trying the best they can to meet all your expectations. This is beautiful energy. This is a new beginning. This is a new, you know, cycle in your life where you're actually dealing with the person that could potentially be, um, your life partner for others of you this could be maybe you haven't dealt with the person that matches your energy this is a person that is focused that is determined that makes things happen they're not about excuses they're not about lack if anything they are extremely stable so again beautiful energy here now if you guys are dealing with someone right now i feel like the month of march is going to be very it's almost giving me the energy of like really being surprised or feel feeling like you're a bit thrown aback because it's almost like it's too good to be true or it's going to be feeling like it's too good to be true. Go with the energy, Taurus. Do not, you know, do not doubt it. Do not question yourself. You deserve it. You deserve this type of energy. Beautiful energy here. Now let's talk about your ex or ex-lover. We have the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So they're still missing you. They're still trying to communicate with you, Taurus. If you haven't heard from them, that's quickly going to be changing. We do have the Eight of Wands here. So there's definitely a desire for communication, for contact. But I feel like if they do take any further action, it may be something like getting a late night text. My advice is keep it pushing, um, Taurus. I feel that this person is only uh, reacting based off of instinct, based off of in, in, uh, emotion instead of like, you know what, I've been thinking about it and I think it's time that I step forward. And they're not thinking in a logical way. So again, chances of them being a little bit tipsy or maybe drunk or just, you know, horny, let's be honest, and you get that night tax, just ignore them. <laughs> All right, moving on here. Let's see what your spirit's message is. For the remainder of March 2024, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is a Spirit's message here for Taurus? Oh, okay. Here we go. Wow, we have three. We have three. Okay, we have three. Okay, I'm going to keep them. All right, so the first card that you have here is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are closing cycles, um, and this could be... As an example, let's just say you've been separated from your ex 5, 10, 15 years ago, but it almost feels like your love life hasn't been really exciting or maybe non-existent. You're going to start to notice people giving you attention or people trying to get your attention. Just know that it's because you're at the cusp of ending the cycle and beginning a new, it's almost like you're stepping into a higher version of yourself. And you're finally being able to energetically release that person from your past. Now, the next card you have here is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. 
So what I'm saying is moving forward for the remainder of the month, I really want you guys, even if you tell me, Pinky, I've been so ready to like connect. I've been so ready to love again, but you haven't really done anything different. I really want you guys to make it a habit every day when you wake up and before you go to bed. Put your hand, put your uh, left hand over your heart. Take a couple of deep breaths in, a couple of deep breaths out. Ground yourself. And when you ground yourself, I really want you to tell yourself, I am worthy of love. I am worthy of giving and receiving love. I am ready to embrace the universe love that it gives to me through, you know, people, through you know, the person that's coming in my life, I am fully ready to embrace and receive. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to align yourself to that energy and the universe is only going to reciprocate. It's going to start to shower you with gifts, with love, with devotion, admiration. It could be as simplistic as you start to get uh, more compliments out when you're in public. Um, and when we do that, when we start to experience that, this is only a result of, again, vibrating from a higher frequency. And your next card here is strategy, which is exactly what I just told you guys. I really want you guys to focus this month or the remaining of this month in really focusing and speaking out loud. What is it that you desire when it comes to love and romance? What is it that... Um, that you're seeking or that you're wanting. Remember, you guys, whatever you're seeking is seeking you. We just have to open that channel of communication so that they can feel our energy and we can feel their energy. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on here with Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. You guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Here we go, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards, new love. Three cards, old flame. Okay, here we go. Your first card here is the star card, the Ten of Cups. Wow, and the Ace of Cups. Those of you guys that are single out there, that's not going to be for too long. The star card does represent in regards to how your person sees you or the person that is coming in. They're going to see you as everything they've ever wished for, everything they've ever hoped for. With the Ten of Cups here, I feel like the connection progressively moves very quickly. And it's almost like it's giving me very much pure energy, um, which could potentially indicate for some of you guys some type of soul connection. Um a soulmate type of energy. This is a person that comes in and you guys really feel like you guys are, it's going to feel for a lot of you guys, like they're kind of experiencing or have been experiencing a lot of the things that you've experienced in the past. And that's where you guys are truly going to connect and bond over. And I feel that as it progresses and it continues, the love is going to be very, very present in this connection. For some of you guys, it could be an Aquarius coming in for you. For others of you, it could be a water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer type of energy. But I definitely do feel that for a lot of you guys, new love is coming in. So get ready. I feel like the end of this month, there's going to be a connection that is already starting to form or starting to build. Um, try the best you can to not be so guarded, Gemini. Truly give yourself the opportunity to connect with people on an authentic level. Um, I know that sometimes life could be difficult and we can become a bit tainted, but I feel that this connection that's coming in is definitely a genuine connection. It is someone that has true and pure intentions. Now, if you guys are dealing with someone, what they're showing me here is that the end of this month is going to be very amazing for you guys. You're going to be spending more time. I see them really putting more effort and energy towards being around you. Um, taking you out, ma making time for each other is going to be very prominent. So if you feel like in the past, maybe they haven't necessarily put a lot of effort or even taken you out on dates or anything like that, that's going to be changing. And I feel like for them, it could be that their Aquarius placement is really being highlighted, which is where we have Pluto. So it's almost like it could be a major shift because remember, Pluto is all about transformation. And what people don't understand is that depending on where it's placed in your birth chart, you could have been the type to be like, I never want to get married. And then Pluto enters and it's like, bam, you go from not wanting to get married to all of a sudden, 
I want to get married and I'm ready to settle. So again, I feel like this person may be um, in that scenario where you meet them at the right time, at the right place. Why? Because this person is not about playing. They know exactly what it is that they want for the future and they are definitely going to make it very evident for you. All right, Gemini. When we're talking about your ex or ex-lover, we have the Seven of Cups here with the Queen of Wands and the Doth card. If you're still entertaining this connection, keep it pushing, Gemini, because I feel like this person has a tendency of they, it's almost like they have, what's the word I'm getting, a uh, five second time, uh, what is it, um, they're, they're like all over the place. This is a person that could be love bombing you today and then you don't hear from them in a week. And then they contact you again and you're like, what the hell? And I feel like they play off of this. This is a form of tactic when we're talking about manipulation. So I feel like this person is very manipulative. This is a person that is definitely not really wanting to reconnect or wanting to rekindle the relationship. They've accepted with the death card that this relationship has ended. But stop giving your power away, Gemini. Stop entertaining them stop responding to their texts because it's almost like they feed off of this and it makes them feel very empowered and that's the reason why they continuously keep contacting you not that they're really planning on making anything happen all right gemini let's see what your spirit's message is here what is spirit's message for gemini for this remainder of march 2024 gemini sun moon rising venus Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Here we go. And we have Diligence. Again, it's, it's it's the energy of what I was sensing when we're talking about your ex. Try the best you can to pay very att close attention to people's actions, not their words, Gemini. I can easily tell you, you know, you're the most important thing to me in my life. And you know that I have all these things going on and if I'm not really treating you or making you some type of priority and I'm putting you just in the back burner and I forget about you completely all week and my excuse is because I was busy, that's not really matching to the words that I'm giving you. So again, try the best you can to pay attention to people's actions, not their words, Gemini, okay? All right, moving on here. All right, my lovelies, we are back here with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For some reason, you guys, my camera went out and then I had a client just pop out of nowhere. By the way, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, he just randomly thought of me, you guys, and he stopped by. Uh, he knows that we run off of a lot of caffeine. Uh, so he stopped by just randomly to bring me some uh, some energy drinks. So I appreciate that. I love you guys so much for being so thoughtful and so caring. I truly appreciate you guys. If you're watching and you're hearing me, well, thank you again, Alex. I appreciate you. All right, moving on here. Let's uh, continue on. We're going to go now to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit guides, ancestors, ascendant masters, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, and receive the messages loud and clearly. What are the messages that we have here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Please give us three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys in regards to love and romance. All right, here we go, Cancer. All right, we're starting off here with the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the High Priest. Beautiful energy. Cancer. Surprisingly, your readings have been very, very exciting lately. Uh, I definitely do feel like you guys are going through a major transition when we're talking about your love and romance. So what they're showing me here, um, if you are already dealing with someone, the way they see you is basically they're seeing you as the end all be all. They're seeing you as the person that they've been searching for, the person that you have all of the qualities that they look for in a partner. Now, in regards to how they feel about you, the Queen of Swords could indicate that they may feel you're a little bit hard to read. And I'm going to be honest with you, Cancer, if you are vibrating to this energy, I definitely want you to continue with this energy. Why? Because oversharing sometimes can actually be used against us in, in a not so positive way, right? When we are 
extremely open or extremely transparent. If you're dealing with someone that is authentic, then that's definitely a good thing, right? But if you're dealing with someone that is a little bit more guarded, um, they can interpret that in many different ways and not necessarily all positive. So you want to continue the mystery. You want to continue them, you know, knowing a little bit about you little by little. You don't want to just vomit all your information and your traumas and what you've been through, right? And the reason I'm saying this is because in regards to how they feel about you with the Queen of Swords, they feel that you are a little bit guarded, perhaps a little bit detached, maybe they're having issue reading you, but this is really what's grabbing them. This is what's really like they are definitely moving forward and they're wanting some type of taking it to the next level, whether it's making it official, whether it's, you know, wanting to pursue this relationship and actually turn it into a relationship. They are definitely captivated by you, Cancer. So again, if you feel that this is connecting to you, I definitely want you to continue this energy, okay? Of giving them a little bit, but not being too completely honest and transparent. Don't tell them, you know, if they give, if they text you, you know, how your day's been. Don't give them the rundown of everything you've been going through throughout the day. Keep a little bit of mystery. This is what's really going to push them to proactively pursue you and want something long term with you because we do have the high priest here. So again, they're definitely looking towards their future actions towards you is to basically lock it down to you're not walking or they're not walking away from this connection. So definitely keep doing what you're doing, Cancer. You're doing amazing. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, a little bit of a different message here with the Queen of Swords right at the center. I need you to be less guarded. What do I mean by this? start to have fun when flirting when you're out and about why because i do see a new person coming in for some of you guys it could be a taurus energy for others it could be an air sign uh aquarius libra or gemini but what they're showing me here is you know really i do see a person coming through for you and i do see that they're wanting basically being in the same state of mind that you're in so they're vibrating to your energy but with the Queen of Swords here, I want you to be a little bit more inviting. So have fun when it comes to flirting. I know some of you guys can be a bit awkward when it comes to flirting, and that's okay. Who cares? You know, really thrive off of your awkwardness, uh, Cancer. If you need to, you know, <laughs> if you need to, like, you know, um, glance at them or smile a little bit more, try to do that. I want you to be very inviting this month, uh, Cancer, because it's really going to draw in a lot of people towards you. More specifically, this person that's coming through, that is definitely something that could have potential for something long term. So I really want you guys to tap into that energy and truly enjoy the playfulness, okay? Now, when we're talking about your past or the person from the past, we have the death card here in regards to how they feel about you. So they are definitely moved on. I feel like for some of you guys, if there was some type of communication and all of a sudden it kind of stopped, the reason for that is because they're moving on cancer, they are putting effort and energy towards someone else. I feel for some of you guys, you're dealing with the next partner that potentially could be dealing with someone new. The Eight of Pentacles does indicate to me um, that they, you know, gotten to a point where they're basically being distracted because they're putting effort or energy somewhere else. In regards to their future actions, I don't see them taking any action towards you. I don't see them trying to communicate or anything like that. So my advice would be uh, to keep it moving, Cancer, in regards to that old flame. All right, we're going to see here what Spirit's message is for you guys for the remainder of the month. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what is Spirit's message here for Cancer? Oh, okay. All right, so we have a few cards that popped out, but I'm definitely going to keep them. I'm hearing keep. Okay, so we, the first card that we have here is creative expression. So what does this mean? Your soul is longing to express itself creativity so for some of you guys you're feeling more inspired again this is the playfulness energy that i was sensing when they were telling me be more courageous when it comes to flirting even if it's awkward embrace that because that's going to make you stand out from the rest so again i really want you guys to have fun with this type of energy now the next card here that you have is indecision okay and finally power so what they're showing me here is again 
I don't know why they keep bringing up awkwardness. It could be potentially that maybe you are a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You critique yourself very harshly, Cancer, and sometimes that keeps you very much in your headspace. So it kind of puts you in a box and you're not fully able to tap into your authentic energy. And I feel like that that's kind of played a role when it comes to relationship for you guys. So I really want you guys for the remainder of the month to truly embrace your quirkiness, to truly embrace what you feel you're a bit insecure about because you're going to be thrown aback realizing how much people are actually being drawn to you because you're embracing that aspect to you. Now, in the past, you've had a lot of feeling of indecisionness, and I think it's primarily because when we're talking about relationships, when people often make you feel like there is uncertainty or like there is a bit of instability, it kind of makes you spiral um, and it makes you overthink and overanalyze and you start to create more blockages than there were initially. And I think that this is obviously vibrating from a place of fear or from a place of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, from the fear of abandonment. So again, I really want you to overcome this obstacle or this fear vibrating energy and to fully tap into your true power cancer. The more you embrace whatever you think makes you very different from everyone else, and perhaps you could be a bit self-conscious about it, I really want you to start, you know, admiring that aspect to you for the next coming days. Why? You're going to start to notice, like I said, that people are going to start to be drawn to you like a magnet. Not only that, but you're going to start to feel much more empowered. And it's almost as if you're taking your power back, you're claiming your power back, Cancer. I really want you guys to work on that because you're going to be surprised at the complete transformation that happens um, when you start to fully almost sharpen what you've kept hidden for quite a while where you think you feel um, insecure about. I really, I feel like that almost disempowers you and the moment you start to embrace it. The more you start to um, really, you know, just learn to love it. And every single day when you look at yourself, whether it's on a physical aspect or your personality or whatever it is, I really want you to like test it, take it to the limit. If you feel like you're awkward and you don't know how to flirt, start randomly flirting with just everyone. <laughs> and when I mean everyone, it's practice makes perfect, you guys. And I've had clients that tell me, Pinky, I really don't know how to flirt. Well, the reason you don't know how to flirt is because you've, you've never thought of yourself as a flirt. You got to put yourself out there, even if it's awkward, even if it's inconvenient or it makes you feel uncomfortable. The more you do it, the more you grow accustomed to it. And then it becomes very natural and you find out what works best for you. OK, so really tap into that energy cancer. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to new love. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, whether it's personal consultations, tarot readings, spell work, or any of the services, you can look at the description box below. You'll be able to find all of our links on there. If you guys are interested in the shadow work journals or any of the books that we provide, you can find all of that on those links. Okay. All right. Here we go. You guys, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on. Are you guys feeling these major changes? You guys, it's almost like we are definitely experiencing a major transformation, not just every sign, but like on a collective level. Um, and we're already seeing all of this start to play out in the media, um, in the public eye, you know, I'm going to be working. You guys uh, stay on the lookout because I do have a new episode for the podcast where we're going to be talking about Pluto's uh, transition or transit, sorry, <laughs> Pluto's transit and um, what it really means and how it's really going to impact us for the next coming 20 years. All right, here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go. First card here is the Seven of Cups, the Tower card, oof, and the Five of Pentacles. What happened? All right, so 
I feel like initially, uh, how they seen you, the person that you may be dealing with may be dealing with multiple people. I feel like they weren't, and if you're connecting to this, I feel like you already know that, or you already felt that because there's almost like they're not focused or they're not concentrated. So it's almost giving me the energy of you texting them a paragraph. And from that paragraph, they're like, you ask them in that paragraph, I don't know, two questions or something. And um, they just glance over it and they just continue the conversation previously to that message that you sent them. So it's almost like they're scattered. Their energy is all over the place. Uh, in regards to how they feel, we have the tower card here. So the tower does indicate to me a major transformation that happened. For some of you guys, you could have potentially, uh, you know, closed off all communication or completely cut them off or you ghosted them. And it's because you felt like this person was playing games or they weren't com being completely honest with you. Um, and I feel like it really shook them. So you could have potentially be dealing with someone that was very egocentric or someone that was a bit narcissistic. Um, this is a person that's used to getting what they want. And I feel like they are in the situation where they feel rejected. And it has a lot to do with your standards, Leo. And I completely applaud you. If this message is connecting with you, congratulations, you just leveled up. Um, so what do I mean by this? They're showing me levels. And I feel like you've become so self-aware and also very aware of others people like other people's behaviors that there is certain things that make you feel unsettled and the moment you feel unsettled you're out the door you're not entertaining you're not dealing with that and that's amazing energy why because i feel like this person needed to learn a lesson but not only that you stood up for yourself you know what you deserve and you know how you expect people to treat you and not settling for anything less than that is only going to guide you to the person that is worthy of you, Leo. And I do see that unfolding for you. So again, for those of you guys that are still dealing with this person, my advice is choose yourself and walk away from this, dear. Because the moment you do, it's like I said, you're leveling up. You are making yourself a priority. You are loving yourself and you're not going to be entertaining anything that is disrespectful or anything that makes you feel disrespected, okay? Now, when we are talking about the past lover, a person from your past, we have the lover's card, the ace of cups, and the world card. So I feel like this person that is from your past could be ex-partner, could be, you know, a person of interest that you were dealing with in the past that you're no longer dealing with. The lovers does indicate that this person does still have a connection with you. There's still a desire there for some type of opportunity or rekindling of a connection. For those of you guys that have been broken up for a while, I feel like this person is going through a cycle in their life where they are realizing that it's you, the person that they want, that it's you, the person that was right for them. And I'm also getting that this person could have potentially been dealing with someone else um, or they could have been excited about a new beginning, but it turned out that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So I feel them like trying to come back around, trying to get back into your life, trying to figure out if you're still open, if you're still available. Um, I do see communication happening for you guys, but I see it happening more towards the beginning of April. So again, if you were hoping for an ex-partner to return or some type of rekindling, I, su I do see the opportunity there, but I see it more towards the beginning of April, like I said. All right, now let's see what your spirit's message is here. What is spirit's message for Leo for the remainder of the month? I'm going to put them back in here. For the remainder of the month of March 2024, Spirit's message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. And the card that we have here is leadership. So obviously you guys are, here's the thing. A lot of people have this perception of Leos as, you know, very fixed, right? <laughs> you are who you are and you're not changing um, people see you definitely as a leader, but I feel like when it comes to relationships, you can become so extremely loyal, Leo, that you really wait for people to like completely like 
what's the word? I don't want to say let you down. It's like you hold on to relationships longer than you should because of the loyalty that you have for them. And we're talking about those of you guys that truly love. When you truly love, you love hard, you know? And I feel like there is almost this energy of learning, especially those of you females out there, uh, learning when to balance your energy when dealing with a mate or a partner, allowing them, as an example, if you're a female, allowing them to stay in their masculine energy. What do I mean by this? You do come off as having difficulty basically letting go of the rails, letting go of the reins of your chariot. Um, and this could put you in a position of being a bit stubborn. And what I mean by this is when you have a tendency of emasculating your masculine, um, sometimes that can throw off the relationship because then you start to vibrate from a masculine energy when you should be vibrating from your feminine. And it's almost very relatable to those, uh, to those that are Capricorn or Scorpio rising, um, it's almost like the reason why you become masculine, and I'm just giving the, the example if you're a female, um, the reason why you vibrate more from a masculine and you become very self-independent is because you've never really truly been able to rely on a masculine energy. But when your masculine divine is there, they're going to allow you to, to sit with your feminine energy. But sometimes you have to give them the opportunity to do that, Leo. So try the best you can not to, um, you know, take control of the relationship right away, because I feel like sometimes even when dealing with the divine masculine or with a masculine that is very high in vibration, sometimes that could throw them off. And, and it doesn't mean that that person wasn't meant for you. It just means that you're still working on yourself, which is why we're telling you this to learn when it's OK to stand in your feminine. Now, if you're a guy, it could be vice versa. You have a tendency of being more attracted to females that are, you know, masculine. Um, you have to allow them or allow yourself to stay in the feminine energy if that's who you are and who you connect with energetically, or if you're the masculine to learn to stand on your masculinity. I hope that makes sense. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with... Oh, we got cards flying out. All right, Virgo. Your first card here is the Star card, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So... I feel the person that you're dealing with, Virgo, they're definitely seeing you as there's major attraction here. They definitely feel like you are almost who they've hoped for or who they've been praying for. However, right at the center in regards to how they feel about you, Queen of Cups does indicate that they were at some point emotionally open or emotionally available to you. But recently something could have happened that kind of triggered their defenses to go up. With the Nine of Wands here, I feel like either you weren't putting enough effort in this connection, Virgo, or you've just been really busy <laughs> and life has happened. And I feel like this person is very much like vibrating from fear. Um, so if you feel if, if you've noticed lately, like they've been acting a bit detached or a bit, you know, removed from the situation or removed from you, it's because they're basically guarding their, their themselves. Their walls came up. Um, they may tell you, you know, oh, it's because it was a busy day or whatever. No, I feel like recently something happened where they kind of felt like you weren't reciprocating their energy. So they had to fall back. So I feel like right now what they're doing is a little bit of mind games, um, trying to play, you know, that role of let me detach so that then Virgo can, you know, chase kind of. If you're dealing with a person that in the past maybe has a tendency of doing this, my advice is don't make contact, allow them to be the ones to reach out to you. Because I feel like this could potentially be someone that is very, um, they have an issue controlling their emotions and sometimes the emotions get the best of them and their insecurities kick in. So they start to play a bit of mind games. So again, if you are dealing with a person like that or you recently noticed like they're kind of pulling back or they're being distant, 
really don't give it a lot of attention. I feel that that's what they want. They want a reaction out of you. And it's a bit of immature type of energy. Now, in regards to your old flame here, we have the high priest, the queen of swords and the king of pentacles. I feel like they've moved on, Virgo. Um, this person may currently be in a relationship or dealing with a uh, with another person. Um, but what they are showing me here in regards to communication or further communication, if they recently, I want to say the past two weeks or so, there was some type of contact or some type of texting. I don't want you to get your hopes up. I feel like this person was just doing that to entertain themselves at the moment. Uh, I don't see them making any type of effort towards reconnecting with you. And it's not because they don't want to. I feel like this person has difficulty like being vulnerable. Um, and perhaps for some of you guys, that was part of the issue why you guys broke up. This person doesn't know how to process emotion and they have a tendency of being extremely stubborn. So I don't see them furthering, like continuously reaching out or communicating. I feel like there is almost this, you know, I see another person in the picture. So they may be dealing with them more so to move on from you, Virgo. Um, I don't feel that it's because there's a connection or anything like that. I feel like they're kind of trying to distract their mind from basically they're trying to force themselves to move on from you. Um, but again, I feel like this person is not the type that is going to be reaching out or making any type of gesture towards you. Um, this is giving me very much like stubborn and immature type of energy. Uh, it's the type of person that tries to get over another person by having someone on top of them or below them if you catch my drift. Uh, so yeah, keep it pushing there, Virgo. All right, let's see what your spirit's message is here for the remainder of the month. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is spirit's message here for Virgo? Okay, thank you. Here we go. And we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so what I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Libra, not Libra, sorry, Virgo. I'm going to be honest with you, Virgo, if you've been constantly like stalking lately or looking at your ex's social medias or stuff like that, I really want you to take this advice to stop doing that. Um, I really want you to bring the energy back to yourself and put your energy towards other things. Keep yourself active. Keep yourself busy. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because retreat does speak to me about having the need to pull back having the need to create some type of absence there. Um, and I feel like for some of you guys, your mind just, you know, uh, the, the ex could even post things, very subliminal things, and like it would drive you crazy. So again, I feel like you need a mental, um, a, a mental recharge. And the only way to do that is to like keep yourself away from social medias or anything like that that is going to keep you from overthinking or overanalyzing, at least for the next coming few days. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2024. Let's see what's going on in their love life. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Libras. All right, here we go. Your first card here is the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so how this person is seeing you, Libra, I feel like they see a lot of mystery around you. They're definitely drawn in to your, to your aura. It's almost like you are not oversharing. You are making them guess. I'm hearing for some of you guys, you're playing a little bit hard to get, which is awesome. Why? Because this is making making the person get more fixated on you. It's making them want to know more. Like they are, I'm almost getting this anxiousness energy of like, I want to know more. Like I want to communicate with Libra. Um, I want to know what's going on in their life, in their world. Like they want to come into your world, Libra. So if you are doing this, keep doing it because I feel like it's definitely, it's definitely working. And they are, 
for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that recently just met someone and you feel like you guys are vibing and you guys are intellectually connecting, the reason why is because you guys are connecting on a more spiritual level. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could potentially have met the person that is going to balance you out, Libra, or the person that is going to, like I said, intellectually keep you and keep your mind and your intellect fed. It, it's almost like there is this aura of like knowledge or sharing knowledge or you guys are definitely going to be connecting in something that you guys both enjoy doing where you're going to find that commonality very exciting um, in regards to how they will proceed in future actions. Ace of Swords is completely honest and transparent communication. So again, I feel like this is definitely someone that, you know, for some of you guys, you probably just recently met your match. For others of you, if you've been dealing with someone for a while, I feel like there's some clarity that comes to, from this connection, from this relationship. And I feel like by the end of this month, there is going to be definitely knowing where you guys both stand and how you guys want to proceed moving forward. Now, in regards to your old flame Libra, we have the 10 of pentacles, temperance here, and the two of cups. I feel like the person that you were dealing with um, definitely seen you as the end all be all. Uh, this is a person that has re is really having a hard time moving on from this connection. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been like a long-term committed relationship. It could have been a marriage. Um, there is definitely here a feeling of understanding that they're not going to meet anyone that is going to connect with them on an emotional, mental, and physical level the way they did with you. And there is definitely still desire here to want to reconnect or rekindle this relationship. Now, the future actions, two of cups, I do see a message coming through for some of you guys. Um... And this communication is going to be very honest and transparent. I feel like they're going to be expressing their feelings for you or that they still have feelings for you and that they want to give it another go. So the ball will be in your court, Libra. All right, you guys, let's see what Spirit's message is here for you. If you guys like these videos, like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Let's see what Spirit's message is for Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, thank you. And your message here, Libra, is, is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for some of you guys, you're clearing out certain stagnation energy, some type of blockages regarding love and romance. Um, again, I feel like the person that you could potentially be dealing or will be dealing with this month, Libra, is definitely someone that you're going to feel very connected to. I don't want you to be guarded or don't be so guarded that you push them away or that you keep them at arm's length. Really allow yourself to connect with this person because I do feel like they are true and authentic and I feel like it may potentially have the promise for something long term, okay? All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love? Give me three cards for new love. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Give me two cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go, Scorpio. All right. All right, we're starting off here with the High Priest. We have the seven of wands and the six of cups. Okay. So Scorpio, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Taurus. For others of you, a water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or fire energy. I do see Sagittarius here um, or Aries or Leo. However, what they're showing me here in regards to how this person sees you, the high priest is definitely, they're looking they're looking at you as a long-term investment. They're looking at you as someone worth getting to know. They're definitely putting some type of effort. However, I feel like recently or perhaps in the past few days, something happened that triggered both of your fears to come up. And I feel like you guys are being a bit guarded or pushing each other away. So my advice is if lately you feel like 
you're sitting there wanting to text them, but you're like, well, they're not texting me. I'm not going to text them. They're on the same mental note. And I feel like they're doing the exact same thing. So by not reacting or by not doing or taking some type of action, it's only going to prolong the playing mind games because I feel like both of you guys are on the same wavelength. So you guys are kind of projecting on each other. You guys is insecurities. I hope that makes sense. Um, my advice is cut the bullshit, Scorpio. If you feel like, you know, they haven't been as enthusiastic or as quick to message you back, you know, perhaps sending them a little text and being like, hey, I really respect people's time. And I also, you know, because I value my time and I don't appreciate, you know, if I text you today and you text me till tomorrow, like be cutthroat and to the point, I feel like it's going to cut the bullshit and it's going to put you guys back on the same page because I feel like both of you guys' insecurities are kicking in right now. Um, future action six of cups is wanting to work it out. It's trying to get on the same page. It's like, okay, I'll hear you out but also hear me out. Let's figure out a way to bring some type of harmony or balance. And I feel that the reason for this is because they do have true intentions for you, Scorpio. So don't let the mind games um, sabotage this connection. Now, when we're talking about past lover, we have the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Emperor. This person is still having the hots for you, Scorpio. I feel like um ace of wands there's still desire there there's still a want to for, for a fresh start they're wanting to come back they're wanting to rekindle or reconnect with you um in regards to their future actions i do see them taking action i feel so more towards the end of march beginning of april you're definitely going to be hearing from them i feel like this person is going to put their big um uh, big girl or big boy pants on and they're like, OK, you know what? I want Scorpio back in my life and I have to do what I have to do to make it happen. So I see them coming a bit aggressive. So could be like double texting, triple texting, um, could be like, you know, getting phone calls from them or them showing up even to your place to try to converse or have com uh, communication with you. Um, but I definitely do see that the ball will be in your court, uh, Scorpio. All right, let's see what your spirit's message is here for the month of March. Spirits, what is the message here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is their message here? Okay, thank you. And the message that we have here is children. Your life's purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. For some of you guys, you are going through this transition of healing a uh, certain type of childhood traumas uh, that's if you haven't already been dealing with that there is a I feel like for some of you guys you could be dealing with abandonment issues or abandonment issues that are coming up that are kind of resurfacing and almost feeling very familiar to certain childhood traumas I really want you guys not to ignore that I, I want you guys to really tap into that where, you know, what's coming to mind is shadow work. I would highly encourage you guys to do that. A lot of the times that we don't realize how much it greatly impacts us, how we react to certain situations or even feelings. Um, there could be something that you're, as an example, you're dealing with this new person and a feeling will come up that makes you feel like something you felt in the past. And that's why your guard comes automatically up. It's a defense mechanism. So again, healing that makes you more self-aware and also makes you realize that are you doing it out of like protecting yourself or are you just doing it because you've gotten so accustomed and comfortable with walking away or giving up on connections because you want to be the one in control versus waiting for them to be the one to leave. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's about healing that so it doesn't further have control over you, Scorpio. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Saggies for the remainder of the month. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Oh, we got cards popping out. Okay, thank you. All right, so in regards to 
in regards to this new person, you have the Empress card here, the Ten of Cups and the Page of Swords. They are definitely captivated by your beauty, Sagittarius. There is a very strong physical connection here. Uh, for some of you guys, Venus is playing a very important role for you guys the remainder of the month. Now, in regards to how they feel, Ten of Cups, they're definitely wanting to pursue this connection. I feel both of you guys may be feeling this connection on a deeper level. And their future actions, Page of Swords, they're going to be very quick and direct in regards to their approach for this connection and how they want it to evolve. Um, what I will say here, Sagittarius, try the best you can to stay in your receptive energy. What do I mean by that? I really want you to embrace the Empress energy, uh, whether you're masculine or female. So uh, Empress energy is receptive, which is female energy, uh, which indicates sitting back and being pretty. OK, even if you're a masculine, um, you may be dealing potentially with someone or, or with a woman that is masculine in their energy. They're definitely it's almost like don't be so reactive or don't be the one to chase. I really want you to stay in your power. I really want you to allow them to be the one to pursue you because this is what's really going to captivate them. And it's what's going to make them go hard for you, Sagittarius. OK. All right, my loves. Now, in regards to Old Flame, we have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Temperance card. Wow. Okay. So what they're showing me here in regards to the Knight of Swords, there will be communication um, moving forward in the next coming days. It's very quick communication, so it could be through a text uh, or through social media or something like that. They definitely do have their eye on you, Sagittarius. They're keeping tabs on you. Um, in regards to the future actions, though, I don't feel like it's going to go anything further than the, just the random text. And I and I feel that the reason for that is because they really don't want you to move on, Sagittarius. For some of you guys, you're going through this transition of a major glow up. There is something that is transitioning within, within you guys. Some of you guys, it could be that you're, you know, you're changing your regimen. For some of you guys, you're picking up on uh, perhaps like taking better care of yourself there is something that has to do with your image. They're showing me like a major, a major glow up. So for some of you guys, it could be like you if you've been thinking about like changing your your look, cutting your hair, dyeing your hair. Now is the time to do so, because I feel like you're definitely feeling intuitively like there's a change that needs to happen and it happens or it will happen for you through action. So, again, um, that's definitely going to be drawing them more towards you. Not that you want the X. This is just for those of you guys that, you know, are wanting to reconnect or something like that. Um, really tap into your energy right now, Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are being empowered. I feel like there is a glow up that's coming for you guys where people are going to be thrown aback of how much you've changed. So really do the best you can to bring that balance to your life. And that's going to also empower you. All right, my lovelies, let's see what Spirit's message is for you here for the remainder of the month. For Sagittarius. Spirit, what is Sagittarius' message here? Sagittarius' message here. For the month remaining of March 2024. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. Okay, thank you, Spirit. And your message here is forgiveness again what i'm sensing is that you're going through this transformation for some of you guys you're going to be picking up intuitively like an example a change needs to happen and you're willing to make that change for some of you guys it could be on the physical aspect it could be that you're taking care better care of yourself for others of you it could be that you decide to go through this weight loss journey for others of you, it could potentially be some type of plastic surgery or something like that. For others of you, it could just be changing your look. Um, but the reason for this is because intuitively you're, you are picking up on the energy that you're elevating, Sagittarius. And forgiveness is a almost when we're going through that transition of healing and being able to step up or level up. You can't fully do that when you are still emotionally dragging things from the past or when there is some type of not being able to get over something that someone did to you. And by not being able to do that, you're kind of disempowering yourself and you're still giving that person power over you. So again, what they're telling me is that there's go there's a cycle that you're going through where 
letting go of things from the past is really going to release you from the past and bring to you not only amazing and beautiful opportunities, but it's also almost like on a soul level, you're cutting ties on a soul level that maybe in the past you haven't fully felt like there's been a lot of changes or major transitions in your love life. And it's because of that. So being able to release that is going to really empower you. It's going to strengthen your energy, but it's also going to help you elevate and truly embrace who you really are, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with my Cappies, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Also, you guys, um, you really want to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified when we go live because I've been doing that and I'm going to continue doing that a little bit more often, whether it's here or whether it's on uh, my TikTok. So you guys can follow all my socials are on this channel, you guys. Don't fall for fake accounts, okay? Because there's like thousands. All my real accounts are connected to my YouTube channel. All right, let's see what's going on with Cappies. Capricorn, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Okay, we got cards flying out. Give me one second. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. The card that flew out. <laughs> All right, give me two cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on here. Capricorn. All right, we're starting off here with the Four of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are going to be dealing with water or fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Four of Wands, this person is definitely seeing you as the person they want to build a relationship with. They want to build the life, Capricorn. In regards to how they feel about you, Page of Cups, they are emotionally available. They are open. They know it's you that they want, and they're going to come in hard. So for some of you guys, those of you guys that are single and not dealing with anyone, do not be surprised because there is a new person that's showing up for you. Uh, for some of you guys, you can even meet this person in your home. Um, what they're showing me is almost like this immediate connection where you feel very drawn to them. Uh, for some of you guys, okay, so I'm getting different messages. Give me one second. Okay, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with someone that has colored eyes. If you are currently single, this is how you're going to know that this is your new person because this person is coming in. They're showing me their eyes and they're like very deep blue. But for some of you guys, it could be blue. It could be green. It could be just colored eyes. Um, and like I said, this could be potentially a person that you meet in your home or for others of you, you're being invited to some type of celebration, some type of wedding, some something of a celebration, a social outing where this person is introduced to you. Um, again, you're going to definitely feel this connection because it's very physical. So I feel like you guys are going to be very attracted to each other out the gate <laughs> in regards to the future actions queen of wands i do see them being decisive i do see them taking action and really pursuing you one of the things that is coming through though is that even if you're dealing with a masculine i feel like this person is going to be more on the sensitive side so what i mean by that is sensitive sometimes is looked at as a negative in the masculine and this is where people get it all effed up right because the truth of the matter is that if you are divine masculine, you're not always aggressive. You're actually being able to balance both your masculine and feminine within you. So this is, uh, as an example, if you're dealing with a guy, this could be a man that is very protective, that is maybe even a little bit jealous, but this is a masculine that is very perceptive. Like an example, if you're having a conversation and you tell them, oh, I love coffee, the next time they want to see you, they'll bring you a coffee. Like they're very perceptive. They're vibrating. Again, it's giving me feminine energy, but it's not necessarily negative. What I mean is basically what all women want, right? A masculine that is masculine, but that is also thoughtful, caring and understanding. And that's the energy that's coming through for you, uh, Capricorn. All right, my lovelies, let's see. In regards to your old flame, we have the six of swords, the chariot card here and the seven of pentacles. Wow. This is like connecting with this. 
All right. So the person from your past sees you moving on or they will be seeing you move on. And this is what's really going to trigger them. This is almost like the trigger point of, OK, let me pop back into Capricorn's life. I don't want to lose them. I don't want them to move on. And they're coming back and they're coming in quick Capricorn. It's almost like they needed to see you dealing with someone else so that they can realize that you could do better and that you deserve better. And that's like the trigger point. That's what pushes them to actually take action. With the seven of pentacles, they're wanting to revisit the past. They're wanting to, uh, you know, they're probably even expecting you to like receive them with an open door and a red carpet type of shit. My advice is move on from this uh, Capricorn because I feel like this person is only wanting you because they're realizing that others want you, okay? All right, my loves. For Capricorns, it is empowering energy, my loves. Pluto just left your sign. <laughs> and depending where you have Aquarius placement is what's going to really play out. So for a lot of you guys, it's bringing in connections where in the past it was really difficult for some of you guys to find a stable or someone that could have the mental capacities where you were, right? Well, that's not going to be the case no more. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of blockages there now, Capricorn. So you can definitely do better, my loves. Okay. All right, Spirit. What is Capricorn's message here? What is their spiritual message here for the month remaining of March 2024? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, Venus. Okay. Here we go. The card we have here is sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Definitely. Definitely, you guys. And again, if you guys follow my podcast, stay tuned because we're going to be talking, diving deep into the Pluto transit in Aquarius and how that's going to play out. Um, but definitely sensitivity is something that uh, maybe Capricorns are definitely not known for. At least those that try to get to know them on a superficial level. Um, for those of you guys that obviously do know Capricorns in your life, you know they are the one of the most sensitive signs. So why think of it as, you know, the way of describing a Capricorn is um, your earth, right? What happens when the earth shakes, when there's an earthquake? It will never, ever go back to what it was, right? The, 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 the breakage in the earth is something that is going to be felt throughout the years, right? But there's a depthness to that. And as deep as it is, and I, even after earthquakes, you know, us humans try to recover from that. But the catastrophe already happened. So the <laughs> this is why I give the metaphor of like, you know, uh, Capricorn being represented by Earth and in an earthquake, for example. Um, there is, even though we start to build on top of the Earth, there is a lot of damage that happened in the Earth, right? So... What does this mean? This means that when Capricorn loves, they love really hard. Um, even though they're known as a more disconnected type of sign, it's it's not necessarily that. What it is is that for some Capricorns, obviously Saturn's energy makes it really difficult to express how you feel. And a lot of the times it has to do with if you don't feel safe or you don't trust that person blindly, you're not going to be sensitive. Like you won't allow yourself to be sensitive. But in the next coming months or even years, you guys are going to be tapping more into your sensitive, you know, energy. You're going to be OK with being more vulnerable. Uh, and this is something that is, you know, almost healing and freeing for you guys. Uh, so I definitely do see that. I definitely do see that again when we're talking about, you know, the person that's coming in. This is a person that is sensitive. It's a person that, you know. People have this misconstrued, have misconstrued what masculine energy is. As an example, um, they think that it's aggressive and it, 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 no, actually a masculine divine as a female or a feminine divine, they both embrace both aspects to them, the masculine and feminine. And it is a beautiful thing when you can have, as an example, a man that is very protective, that is very, um, active and go-getter 
and a provider, but that is also sensitive and nurturing and understanding and compassionate. So I definitely see that coming into your life, Capricorn, if you're starting to feel a bit sensitive or overly sensitive. It's okay. Be kind to yourself. It's about time that you bring those big ass walls down and give yourself the opportunity to fully live in the moment. Okay. All right, my loves. Moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Aquas. Major transformation, right, you guys? Huge transformation, huge power coming to you guys. You guys definitely need to stay tuned for that podcast <laughs> as it is in your sign, Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on with love. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. For new love, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Four of Cups. Okay, Aquarius, very important. Pay attention to what the universe is showing you right now. Okay, what do I mean by this? Stop allowing people to show you their red flags and still entertain. No, 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 no. This is the year, Aquarius, where you really put yourself, yourself on a pedestal and allow people to prove themselves to you. Why? Because this is very empowering type of energy and you definitely want to tap into that uh, Pluto energy, right? Getting your power back. So when we're talking about new love, how they see you, Page of Cups, this is a person that is definitely interested in you. This is a person that is, you know, ready to offer you some type of offering here, but how they feel is the Knight of Swords. So it could potentially be someone that love bombs you or that all of a sudden starts to, oh, I get it. I get it, you guys. Okay. So it could be potentially someone that loves bombs, love bombs you from the very beginning. And that is definitely a red flag. Why? Because this is a person that is very immature type of energy. You're going to quickly lose interest, Aquarius, or potentially this person can lose interest because, again, I feel like it's a very immature energy. It, as quickly as it comes, it goes. So I don't want you guys to fall for that. The reason I say that is the Four of Cups in their future actions. This is a person that's going to promise you the world, but is not really going to come through. Now, the reason why I'm telling you guys not to fall for this is because I do see a connection that's coming through for you and it's going to come after a disappointment for some of you guys. So again, if you are dealing with someone, you had high expectations, you felt like you guys were definitely vibing, you guys were definitely, you know, going good. And all of a sudden they start to be a bit detached or they're not as present in the connection. Do not sweat them, Aquarius. Let them go. Why? Because I do see a connection that's coming through for you, but it will come after this disappointment, my loves. Now, the reason why I said it makes perfect sense is because the Page of Cups does indicate to me you're also ready to embrace new connections. With the Knight of Swords, change is coming in rapidly quick for you. Four of Cups, do not get distracted or do not settle because we do have, like I said, Pluto energy. And Pluto energy usually brings to us people that are connected to us on a soul level, it is in your sign. So the likelihood of you meeting your soulmate or the likelihood of you meeting someone that could be hot and heavy type of energy, because that's very Platonian energy, is definitely coming through. You're not going to feel lukewarm about this person. You're going to feel like fireworks immediately. So again, do not settle. Don't diminish yourself. This person is not for you. It comes the person for you comes after some type of disappointment. So to make it more easier for you guys to understand, if you feel lukewarm about this person that you're dealing with, don't sit there and wait for them to act right. Keep it pushing because the one that is going to be all about you, Aquarius, is coming in for you guys. All right, my loves. Moving on here in regards to Old Flame, we have the Ten of Cups, King of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. The person from your past has not moved on. They're definitely coming back around or wanting to reconnect with you. I see them texting you guys. I see them communicating like as an example through social media. Like if you post a story, they'll respond to your story because it goes to your DMs. 
but I don't see them actually taking effort or putting effort into trying to like hang out with you or make time for you. I feel this person is just playing the field. So what I mean by that is they're talking to multiple people. Don't waste your time. If you hear from an ex and you were wanting to rekindle some type of connection, again, take what the universe is showing you, Aquarius, and keep it pushing because you're destined for something better. All right, my loves? Okay, moving on here. Let's see what your spirit's message is. What is spirit's message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? For the remainder of March 2024, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit's message here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys, I use these decks. I think there's like four or five decks. They're really hard to shuffle, but... I feel like it's the collective, you know what I mean? So, all right, Aquarius message here. We have trust. Perfect, perfect energy. This is exactly what I was sensing when I was reading you the cards about the new person that's coming in Aquarius. If you're dealing with someone where you feel like you're lukewarm about it, you're not all in, you're not all out, or they're acting as if they're not all in, they're not all out, trust the process. OK, and the process is I know that sometimes we get our hopes up and we're like, you know, we're connecting and out of nowhere, they kind of stop acting how they initially did. And it's a very like harsh letdown. There's disappointment there. But the beauty in this is that spirit is telling you, trust the process, Aquarius. I have something better for you. I have the, you know, night sky, the stars, the taking in the ocean, the taking in the night and type of romance for you so trust the process do not for a second think that you're not worthy or deserving of the connection that you want Aquarius even for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while because I'm hearing 10 15 years for some of you um, if you just haven't felt that type of connection do not despair my loves you guys are worthy and deserving of love and it is coming to you do not settle okay all right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, comment. Let me know below if you guys are ex experiencing changes already. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been throughout the readings that I've been doing. I've been seeing a lot of people like uh, some struggle with certain aspects in their life, but always for the better because, you know, transformation is not always easy, but it is definitely very exciting to uh, look forward to the future. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.